Welcome back guys to yet another video for my S550 Mustang. I recently just bought an amp for my speakers in the Mustang and this is the base model Mustang. So I'm going to show you exactly what I did to install it. I didn't do a video of me installing it personally because it was my first time doing a full install of the audio system on the stock radio and it went through a lot of work but said and done I'm going to show you guys what I did so you guys can understand how to do it to your own or another Mustang that you guys are going to get eventually. Um, so first things first, I got a amp wiring kit. It should be about, I think, four gauge. I got to check, but I'm going to show you guys what I got. So the first thing that I did is run it through the engine bay, which you got to run for straight from the battery on the positive terminal in through the firewall of the car and into the car so you get the power. So let me show you guys open, I got the hood open, show you guys exactly what I did for that. All right guys, so here we go. Here is the inside of my Mustang. Um, if we look all the way over here, it's hard to see but it's that way on purpose. I got my wire going straight into the battery, right into the side, which no one can even see. It's really cool, it looks factory. I um, mounted it right here, you can see I got the, um, ooh, got the bolts right there. Bolted it right into the plastic here. It's a nice, good, and sturdy, will not move at all. And then I kind of put a little bit of this factory stuff that came with the, uh, the kit here. And what I ended up doing, is let's see if I can show you all right is wow that is dark okay so you can see that little grommet right there I took one of the grommets that I found inside of the Mustang and I wire, I put a little hole through so that goes right into the side of this hole here and what it does is it goes right into the side of the wheel well which is a whole bunch of clips you can take out on the side and it goes straight into a grommet into the firewall. There's a few videos you can see exactly where that one is located but it's a really nice spot to stick it and then it goes right through the firewall really easy. So this why it's an easy way to install the amp for that side. Um, let me put this little piece back. Let me show you the rest of the setup on the inside of the car. All right, so here's the inside of the car. Um, the wire will come right through the passenger side on the floorboard over here. It'll go right through that grommet. And I, I took off the panels on the side here. I took off the panels through the back seats, all the panels. And I wired it straight to the trunk, where is where I put the amp. And I will show you that. So that's all on that side. Um, we come over here, this is the tricky part. Um, for the stock radio, I cut into the wires, which I'll post a wire diagram so you guys know exactly which wires go where. I cut the harness, so what is gonna happen is this sends a high, basically a high output signal to power the speakers. But what we need to get this to work on a stock radio is for the signal to be sent as a low level signal which comes from like aftermarket speakers which already has the RCA inputs on it and this is going to transfer into a box called a line out converter um, I got a nice line out converter for the Mustang so it works properly so what's going to happen here is I splice the wires let me turn this around so I splice the wires at the radio so now I have a set going to the speakers and I have the wire ends that are part of the harness. So what's going to happen there is the wires that are coming out of the harness is going to be sent to that line output converter so it converts that high level signal to a low level signal. And then it can go from that line out converter box straight to the amp using RCA wires. So basically we're kind of making it like an aftermarket radio which has the RCAs already there. Um, and then what we're going to do is run the RCAs from that line output converter straight to the amp, which can now read that signal. And then from the amp, I'm going to wire the speaker wires straight back up to the front of the car where those ends of the speaker wires are um, that we cut. And that's going to be 
basically powering all the speakers. So instead of me rerunning wire from the amp all the way to all the speakers, I'm just gonna use the factory wires to send them to all these speakers. Um, I don't have an amp, not an amp, uh, amp with a sub um, yet. I'm gonna do that eventually, that'll be a whole nother video. Um, so this was a pretty big install. So I replaced all four speakers in the bass Mustang. Um, the tweeters, I left them. Those are already tapped into the wires, which I didn't have to replace because that's the stock one. Um, so I redid all that, reconnected everything with the Polk speakers since I love them. They do such a great job. Um, let me show you the line-out converter under my seat, and I'll show you the amp now. So I'm under my driver's seat. Um, you can see here, you can see the wires that are coming straight from under the seat. Um, I have tapped into a ground that is actually on the side wall of the driver's side in the back. So that was a short run for the ground wire. 12 volts is coming straight from the back of the amp. So I ran the a power wire from the amp's power um, just to run this through so I didn't have to strip into anything else. Remote in and remote out is coming from a wire up front, which actually powers the rear camera, surprisingly. This rear camera will activate as soon as the car door is opened, and once it realizes that it's not being used yet or the car isn't started, it will automatically turn this unit off. Um, this unit does have an automatic, um, basically a remote out. You don't have to have an in, but I wanted to have it set up that works. Um, so all these speaker here, these wires, are gonna be going straight to the head unit. This is for the stock head unit. So this is what's gonna be converting that signal. So all these inputs are coming from the head unit into this device, converting that high output signal. And then if you look in the back, these RCAs are gonna be straight into the amp. Um, sound symbol, hope I made that a little bit simpler. Um, so these are actually gonna go straight to the amp so it knows the signals that we're gonna be using. And then the amp, of course, is going to have a wire just like this going straight from the amp all the way to the head unit where we cut the, uh, basically we got two sides of wires. One that comes out of the head unit and the other one, that, which is the other end that connects to the speakers. So that'll be run straight up there. This is the LC7i. You can have four speakers here and one sub. So I got this for my subwoofer. So then I can have the output when I want to connect the subwoofer eventually to the system. So this is a nice unit. It has all the outputs here. It has the AccuBase, which controls the bass. So if you have any bass, um, it happens when the system turns up too loud and the, basically your factory head unit will turn the bass down so you don't wreck the speakers. So this will fix that and make it so your speakers output the bass when it's there because we have a higher quality speaker now. So this all runs here, runs all the way from the side on the driver's side since we don't want to keep our wires next to power, which will actually add noise to our system. So now let's go back to the amp and see what those setups look like. All right, so now we're in the back of the car. This is where all the good stuff is happening. Um, I have a ground wire, let me show you. There's a bolt right there which is part of the seat. So I basically what I did with that is I sanded it down and connected the ground wire straight to that seat, which is a huge, I mean, it's, it's big. It's a big bolt there. So that's a really nice ground point. So what I do is I ran it through the side under the stuff where our power wire comes from the battery. The ground cable now comes from that spot there. And here's our remote turn on, which comes um, from our source over there with the um, line out put converter is. Um, and then we can see, of course, this is the driver's side. We have our speaker wire that's going straight to the head unit to power the speakers. And then we have our RCAs coming from the line out put converter, which converts that signal. And you can see there's the wire connects all of the speakers there. And then we have a, um, the power wire that I was using for the um, line out put converter up there. So this actually it's nice and simple. Um, this is all I did. I kind of kept the, I got a little towel here. I know it doesn't look the best, but it looks better than I've seen some setups. Um, so it's kind of just sitting here on the foam back here. Eventually when I get the subwoofer, there's going to be a box here. I'm just going to have one woofer. The, it'll hide this side of the unit so you won't see this. I'll be able to mount this in that little pocket there and you can actually fold the seat down to see that spot. So everything will be hidden. This will be hidden and then the other amp for the subwoofer will also be hidden. I'll just tap into these power lines since they're nice thick cables and uh, reground it with the other spot there. So 
this is how this setup works. Um, I hope you guys can learn from what I did here. Um, if you have questions, let me know. I'll be glad to uh, answer that since I don't have the video showing me putting it all together. Um, but let me guys know what you guys have, any questions, or if you guys want to do something just like I did here. So I thank you guys for watching, and I hope you stay tuned for more videos on my S550 Mustang.